What's going on guys, it's Kirk Tech 360 today. Got something new for you. All right, guys, first and foremost, click for clicking on the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and let's get into it. So this is the 192 DMX Show Designer by Sheds. It comes with, obviously, when you open it up, it's kind of how they send it. Now, I had it out a few days ago. I was messing with it, so it, it does come wrapped in plastic, but I just set it back in here so it wouldn't get broke. Um, but once you open it up, this is how you'll get it. It comes with your controllers. It comes with a your power supply with it. And protective foam on the side to keep it from getting destroyed during shipping. And this is much it. All right, so first impression, it is pretty light. It's probably, it may weigh about three pounds, maybe if that, maybe two. Uh, it's just kind of a real lightweight metal, nothing too heavy, nothing too dramatic. It does have your mounting screws if you have a rack to mount it into. Um, all your sliders and faders, they're pretty, they're pretty smooth. They're not real stiff, they're not real hard to move. Uh, your, your buttons are real basic. And uh, you do have your power DMX out and your on and off switch. And you got a little LCD screen here that kind of tells you your different scenes and just different things that you're doing. So let's get it all hooked up here and see what we can do with it. All right guys, so this is the controller. This is how it's laid out. As you see in the background, the light on the right, that is one of the other lights I did a review on previously. Don't go check that video out. But this controller, it's uh, it has 192 DMX channels, 30 banks, and each bank uh, has eight programmable scenes, uh, eight fade adjusting uh, sliders, uh, built-in microphones, auto modes, blackouts, digital displays, just, I mean, pretty much everything to get you started just for just a basic setup. Now, when you look around, this is a pretty, as a fairly common controller, it had, I've seen it labeled and named many different things, but one thing that does say the same is the DMX uh, 512 and the DMX 192 and also the DMX Show Designer. That stays the same. Usually you'll find a different name from another company that may have, um, you know, have also carried this product as well. But let's go ahead and get started. Let me show you. So since I already have this light already programmed in on the system, uh, you'll, so this is all your scanners, so you can put you all your moving heads. Um, you'll have, you'll have one, two, three, four, five. So you'll program each light into each one. So being that I'm only have one and I'm only going to talk to this one, I've got this light programmed to scanner number one. All right, so we're going to start with channel one. And as you see, that makes move left to right. Uh, it does do completely all the way around. All right, next one, channel two. That's going to be this way. And you can move pretty much as fast as you want. All right. Channel four is basically just for your lighting. That just turns everything up brightness. That's your basically your brightness for your lights. So like channel five is red, and this is your pretty much a dimmer for all of them. So you make them brighter or dimmer. So I'm gonna turn them all the way up. So that's red, green, blue, white. And this last one is the strobe. You can basically bump it down for speed, and you can do the strobe with any color. Now, also, once you start getting into, you start really tweaking with the colors, and you start messing with these different faders, you start mixing colors, um, you basically create almost any color you want. So, now that you see how it's basically set up and how it's ran and what it does, let's go ahead and let's create a chase. So, I'm gonna bump my fade up just a hair. All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna put this thing in program mode. So you're gonna hit program and hold it until the light starts blinking. So now we got a light up here blinking, as you can see. Now, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit channel one. So that's gonna be the channel that I want to program to first. So let's move this light like this, just so you guys can see it. And let's make it, uh, make it red. How about that? Let's put it right there. All right, so once you got that, once you have that set, we're gonna go over here to MIDI add. 
okay? And there you go, so I'm gonna be add number one, okay? So now, I'm gonna move this, let's change it to green this time. And let's uh, spin it this way. Now we're gonna go MIDI add two. All right. So now let's create another one here. So let's go. Let's take the green off and let's make it blue. And let's go like this. How about that? All right. Let's don't point it right at the camera so it don't get too bright. All right. Now we're gonna go MIDI three. Okay. Now you got three. Take blue down. Let's go white. And let's just go like this. Alright. And we'll go MIDI four. Alright, so now I got one, two, three, and four program. Right, let's go ahead and uh, let's spin the sucker around like this. Like that. And let's go MIDI five. And let's go, let's do these last few strobing. How about that? And we'll go like this while we're strobing. And Turn it a little bit, just like that. And we'll go maybe six. And then we'll take the strobe off. Go back here, let's go back red. And actually, you know what? Let's go blue, strobe. And then spin it like that. Like that. And we'll go maybe seven. All right. So we'll just do it like that. Now, once you get your scenes, you know, all programmed, however you want to do it. Now we're going to go hold and program to get out of it. Now, once you hold down program to get out of the programming settings, it'll automatically hit blackout, which turns to base your lights off. All right. So once you have everything programmed, you got all your scenes, you know, programming it, whatever. So we're going to take it off blackout. So that's my last program that I had on there. So we're gonna go chase one, auto. And this will now run through all your scenes as face lock steps. Let's turn it off some. So basically as it's going, it's, it's basically going doo 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 doo. Boop, 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 boop. One, two, three, four. So like we got that's probably gonna be three, four, and it's just kind of going like this. Then it'll start over and it'll come back. And that's all it's doing, it's just telling it to hit which scene you just set up. And if you notice at the very end where it kind of blacks out, it just goes black for a second, that's because we did not program a scene for channel eight. So when it gets to eight, there is no scene there, so it automatically will go black like that right there. All right, so once you get to that point, and when you're done with that, you can go turn auto off. You can turn your auto and hit auto, and it'll basically it'll stop again. Then you hit blackout, turn everything off, and it'll repark your lights back in the resting position. Now, so let's say you you know you like you know what I don't like this specific scene. So then you'll basically go you go like one, or you'll go right here where auto delete. You go over here to auto delete. You hit delete one. So you know I, I just in how it flashes, it means it just took. So you know what, I just deleted scene one, so let's go and delete scene two. Delete two, okay, delete four. So once you back out of the programming, then you can go, you know, with two, three, four, five. So none of your scenes are there that you have, that you just, that you just programmed, all those scenes are gone. Now you can go back and reprogram them and make new scenes again, go back to program, one, maybe add, two, change your setting, three, it's, it's a pretty simple setup. Now, there's also another way to do it with like, you know, you do par cans and stuff like that. Uh, I don't have, I got this par can, but this is just, just aesthetics. It don't really do much, but. Um, all right, guys, so that is the 192 DMX controller, DMX show designer by Sheds. Now, one, like I said before, 
You will find this controller with many different names on it. This is pretty, uh, just a basic uh, controller. Um, I've seen it branded many different ways already, but overall, like I said, it's not a bad controller. It's a very basic, good starter controller. It's not hard to learn. Um, I will say, honestly, the instructions are not the easiest to understand and, and follow. Um, some of the stuff that I learned, I had to look up on YouTube as well. Uh, to try to figure out how to operate certain things because some of the directions weren't very clear. But other than that, I mean, like I said, it's simple to figure out. And me personally, I learned better by seeing somebody else do it. And like once I see them do it, I got it. You know, reading it's a little bit different for me. Um, but anyways, guys, like I said, it's a great little, uh, great little little controller, man. I make it. I don't really have any complaints for it. Um, I'll definitely keep it and uh, use it for a while. You know, and I may even. Try to get me a few more of these i'd love to have at least one more of them and i'd love to have at least two of these together uh just for my own personal use but that is the controller guys if you have any questions or comments feel free to reach out comment below don't argue don't fight until next time